fellows, all right, guys. <laughs> I don't even know what, what to call you guys, but you guys are just fun. So you're welcome to another episode of Funke Says. And this week, we're going to be talking about something very interesting. You got engaged last week, but then you now want to get a planner. Why do you need a planner? So very interestingly, based on our last topic, we've got two questions, and I'm just quickly going to answer them. The first one was, being a Yoruba bride and a Yoruba groom, the bride has said to us that, you know what, we cannot really afford to have the wedding, maybe because the groom, you know, they would probably um, have a large wedding, but we want to have a smaller wedding, and we can't afford to have that kind of wedding. And then the second question was, how do I, if for example, the groom wants to chip in, the groom's family wants to pay for this wedding or chip in, how does it work? I always say that, you know what, there's no hard and fast rule. That's the answer, there's no hard and fast rule. It depends on the families, it's good for you guys to sit down and decide and nobody should feel in any way or in any form that they are being um, on, on their mind or they are being, um, they feel like I see they are being um, cheated. So it's just for you two guys to understand. Don't forget that a marriage is a marriage of two families and so you need to ensure that when you go into these families there's no rancor, there's no um, rift. It's all about love, it's all about sharing. So as I said, there's no hard and fast rule. There's nobody that has invented it. Tradition was in the past, but now things are changing in Nigeria. So you can actually just mix it up. So it doesn't really matter. All right, so now the topic for today, and what we're gonna be talking about is, now that you've gotten engaged, why do you need a planner? Why do I need to engage a planner? Now there's so many reasons, and I will tell you one. One of it is that the planner takes the stress off you. The planner takes the strain and the stress off you. You may be someone that is usually very busy, you may be someone that is really very active and you are so engrossed at work or you are not someone that doesn't even have the time at all, your planner will take the stress off you. So another reason why you need a planner is that a planner will help you convert your dream into reality. You know how it is that you are planning your wedding, you are all dreaming of something exciting, something out of this world, your planner will help you convert that dream into reality. Your planner will help you manage your vendors manage all the decision making, all the people that you're going to use on that day. Your planner will also help you manage your budgets as well. You know, on the day of the, of, I'm sorry, before the event. A planner will help you manage your budgets on the day and even before the day. So you need a planner for so many reasons. But you know what, I always tell people, someone will say, you know what, I don't need a planner. If you've read my book, The Essential Bridal Handbook, you can actually buy the book and plan your wedding yourself. You don't necessarily have to have a planner. But you know what? There are usually more good reasons for you to have a planner than not to have one. Because you know what? You want to enjoy your day. You want to have fun, fun, fun. So you know what? Let Pay somebody else to do the dirty work. <laughs> That's what planners are there for. All right, thank you. So it's been fun. It's been exciting. You know what? I love answering all these questions. I love giving tips. I love giving advice. And it just makes me so, so happy. So thank you. And you've watched another episode of Funke Sayings. So join us next time on Funke Sayings. But you know what? something? You can actually send me an email and ask me more questions at funkebuckner at gmail.com. Funkebuckner at gmail.com. Thank you.